Go, Dirk. About you, Papa. Dirk, what does Papa always say in the vlog? Hi, guys. Another day, another unboxing. <laughs> Very this good. day, we're gonna unbox the big brother of One Piece. No, he's not the big brother. He's a old friend of Luffy. He's the old friend of Luffy inside this box. Yes, inside this box. And... Let's very good. Uh, galing na. So guys, you just saw my son. He's very good at someday he will take over the vlog and hopefully he will make uh, millions of followers because of his cuteness. Anyway guys, another day, another unboxing just, as, just like my son said. And this time we are gonna unbox One Piece Old from brother. yes from the studio Soul Wing. And this is... The statue of yes, baby. This is Marco the Phoenix. Marco the Phoenix, Dirk. So, guys, let's begin because my son is excited. So, let's start. So, this is what the art box looks like on top. So, guys, this is the art box. This is what the art box looks like. So, you can see a partial view of the Marco statue. Wait for me. So here are the kids trying to enjoy the unboxing experience with me. Uh, so this little guy does not know what to do. <laughs> He's more interested with the empty box than the statue itself. So anyway guys, let's continue with the unboxing. Dirk, no! You don't pull it at that because it's gonna ruin the box. This one, you just pull this here. Pull this lever. Very good. And the other lever. Okay. Very good. Then pull all this up. Yan. So guys. <laughs> Very good. Dirk. You see, my son watches my vlog and he always remember what I say. So here is the instruction manual all in, I guess, Chinese. So we don't really understand what it says, but at least they have a uh, parts a tagging, so we won't have to focus on what. Please the block so your hands won't get dirty. Oh really? Okay. Uh, how about you wear it? No, it's too big for me. Okay, later I'll wear it. So these are the parts, the assembly manual. So, hopefully, it's gonna be an easy assembly. So, anyway, guys, let's begin. Yellow and coins. Yellow and coins? And also, this blue one is Oh, Doug, wait for me. Hey. Okay, guys, so this is what the parts let's looks like. Do, let's do it now. So, my son is super excited. So, let's begin. So this here is the base. So we have uh, nice details on the base. The brickworks are nice. Although the paint application for the fire is not as nice as I would like to. It looks a little um, child. Uh, it's not really good. It's not. I, I don't think it's really professionally done for me. So anyway, the other details are nice. This brass. Brass details, nice. The cannon is nice, and the rocks here are very nicely textured. And underneath is we could see what the bottom of the base looks like. Here we have just a simple. Um, simple wordings under the base and the edition size and number so i got 346 out of 450. oh you turn it around for the guys so this is what 360 of our base looks like so that's it for the base so let's continue with the assembly so guys at first the instruction is a little bit confusing but i guess i'm getting a hang of it 
So they they are grouped by the sh their shape, the triangle, square, and inverted. Hey Derek, you remember what Papa told you? When Papa is speaking, what do you do? Keep quiet. Very good. So we have a they are grouped by shapes. So there's a triangle, square, and an inverted triangle. And the instruction will tell you where can you find the parts number per their grouping. So like, for example, uh, part number one will be found on the inverted triangle group, which is this. So I guess this is gonna be a pretty uh, easy to follow assembly manual. Now, this one is how it look like. Pressing this one, turning around and around. Let's go. Uh, you show Papa, show Papa, uh, no, Dirk. You take a video of Papa while playing on this part. So, guys, I'm gonna put on Vlogging Me, video Vlogging Me, number four and number five could also be found. Just follow Papa. The part number five. When you stop it, just press pause. Okay, so there's a bit of a problem here because uh, it is pretty obvious. So you, it's pretty obvious that this this uh, foot right here uh, should really be on this hole. But the problem is, uh, I guess the peg is too tight to fit inside the hole, and no matter how much force I put into it, it still won't uh, budge, or I guess it's budging but bit by bit, and I'm not sure how much it could handle, or else before it, it breaks the leg. So this is one setback that I'm currently uh, facing right now for this build. Other setbacks that I've already encountered are some don't really fit in too well, like this piece right here, and that's it. So hopefully I'll be able to figure out how to overcome this setback. So guys, I think I'm gonna settle with this. So hopefully there's no problem with this. Um, it have it was it is settled here. As you can see, the peg is jutting out quite a bit. Okay, guys. So this is how the statue of Marco from Solving Studio looks like. It's ninety nine percent complete. And as always in this uh, channel, we always put on the head last, and that. Um, honor I will entrust to my son so Dirk which head do you want this one. the more powerful head yes. the Phoenix head yes. so so we have two head options for this Marco statue we have a full human head and a partially transformed head so my son is choosing this Partial transformed head. So here you go, Dirk. Put on the head carefully. I you cannot. Okay, I'll carry you. <clears throat> carefully. Ta da! Good job. Alright, guys. Oh, he's a funny guy. Papa. Why? Why is he funny? Because he's. So guys, this is the solving studio, Marco the Phoenix. As you can see, it's a magnificent statue, very cool looking with all the translucent resin. Look, the other and Marco the... is gonna lo launch now. <laughs> so <laughs> that's it guys. Um, this is a wonderful looking statue. Actually, this is the Marco statue that I preferred, um, even compared with the recently announced Jimmy statue, due to the due to the simplicity, but um, very museum-like.
pose because I don't really dig the um, side kicking pose of the Jimmy one but unfortunately this um, solving studio statue has some hiccups on the engineering side um, namely the um, fitness of the pegs to the holes but hopefully they would hold in time and oh so guys son found one more <laughs> light part on the box which i which i don't really think that there uh, it's in the instruction because i really thought that everything in the instruction was followed but anyway i'll figure out where this goes also one more is there are some parts that are really so hard to figure out where they insert like for example this um light part i uh, I've spent a lot of minutes figuring out where this where this insert, but I still can't find it. So I just place it randomly anywhere. But hopefully someday I'll be able to locate that. So again, guys, this is um, Solving Studios Marco, uh, very simple but uh, a trademark pose of Marco. That's why I prefer it. Um, more than any other uh, studios out there because this is the pose that introduced me to Marco so that's it guys so my son just uh, placed the token and he's proud of it are you proud of it Dirk? <laughs> so hope Okay, so guys, hope to see you on the next unboxing. Please. With my, with me. And who are you? <laughs> who are you? Derek. Derek. So say goodbye to the guys. Bye. And what do they? Do? What should they do? Close that. Click. Click the subscribe and like. Like, subscribe and. What See else? you on the next unboxing. <laughs> Bye. Bye.